มี30 male found out my 29 female wife cheated on me for two years and tried to cover it up by proposing polyamory. I do know that there's nothing particularly new under the sun here. But I wanted to talk with people who might have experienced something similar. Effectively, I just learned today that my wife, who had already been planning to leave me, has been cheating on me for two years and tried to get away with it by proposing polyamory. I posted in the last six months about my story. But basically, it's as follows. We dated since high school. Married in our 20s after her mom died. We were, at least, as far as I know, monogamous the whole time. She wanted to pursue a master's degree in a medical field and applied to a couple of prestigious programs, got into one about two hours away from the city we live in. We talked, she moved down there, and we planned to be long distance for two years. Then, She'd come back for a residency in our hometown the third year. Distance was tough, and things started to get a bit strained, but it still felt we were in love, doing well, etc. Then in the middle of her second year, she failed some classes, had to withdraw from the program and go back the following fall. This was in 2014. While she's back living with me, she brought up the idea of polyamory, saying that she'd been thinking about it. She was bi and wanted to experiment with women that she knew she'd been my first sexual partner and I knew I was interested in exploring group sex, other things. I was wary at first, very wary. I asked why she wanted this. If there was another partner... If she'd cheated, she swore up and down no that it was crazy. I'd even think that. Blah, blah, blah. Fast forward 1.5 years from that moment, she's down at school. I have a serious poly girlfriend for the last year and change. She dated some women down there. Our triad is pretty tight and honest and open about everything. My girlfriend, wife, and I had even few threesomes. Life is great, right? One of the strange points was that at one point earlier this year, she told me that she had developed feelings for a man. A friend of hers down there, I always suspected of being a bit too close for normal friendship, and she wanted to know if I'd be okay to pursue them. We talk about it, I struggled with jealousy. Even though I had a girlfriend, her being with a man felt like a totally different ball game. Lol. And it wasn't comfortable with it. We got into couples counseling. She said, ultimately, he didn't matter that much to her and that I was her priority. So she wasn't going to pursue anything with him. Leave it at that. This is about two months ago. Over the last month, our marriage completely spiraled apart. She was going to counseling with me and got engaging, saying one thing, day one, the next, saying she fell out of love with me, all of this tough. Basically, despite my best efforts, saying I'd do whatever I could for her, Moved to the city she lives in because a program that was supposed to take three years now, for complex reasons, was going to take five. Even considered dropping my boundary about her seeing other men. But it looks like divorce is inevitable. And then, in a fit of peak last night, I messaged a guy she told me she had feelings for and was like, congrats, you win, she's all yours. And it's buffled because they've been fucking for two years and he thought I knew. They've been fucking regularly since before she moved back to our hometown. 
since before I'd ever been presented with a polyamory. I'd literally been cackled at for 20 months. He told me she even fucked another guy in their friend group there. Something she denies. If it had been a one-time thing, I could comprehend it better. Or if it had developed after she had been open and honest about her desire for polyamory, but she tried to use us being poly. Me having another partner and all this stuff to kind of end run this man into my life. Lying to him as well about me being okay with it. I'd literally sat across from this dude in a coffee shop chatting. Helped him move stuff once. And the whole time he thought I knew he was fucking my wife. And I had no idea. I feel absolutely gut and betrayed and just... She lied to everyone, to me, to him, to my partner, and to our friends about everything for years. And now, my entire life has been fucking exploded, and I don't know what to do. I have a wonderful girlfriend who I met during his polyamory period, so not at all is lost. But I have never been betrayed or broken up with like this before. And it feels like someone put a shotgun to my gut and pulled the trigger. Update? Turns out, I've been played for a fool for a long time. I spoke to the other man and he told me there'd been another dude before him. I talked to that guy and he confirmed. I confronted her and she finally broke down. Maybe she's still... Pathologically lying, but it didn't seem to be the final truth that she had cheated on me for the first time in high school, twice in college, and twice after she went away to this program. Sometimes with men, once with a woman, always close friends that she developed feelings for and then couldn't extricate herself. From day one, she struggled to be monogamous, but she thought... She could suppress it for my sake. Makes sense. At least now my years of being insecure, of having trust issues, of being paranoid about stuff like this, makes a hell of a lot more sense. Trust your gut, I guess. Second story. Me 32 male with my wife, 30 female of 8 years. Her conservative father, 55 male, is destroying our attempts to save our marriage after my wife cheated. I don't really know why I'm posting here, but I'm desperate to tell someone, I guess. My wife and I went to the same small private college where we met in my senior year. After a year of courtship, I proposed as soon as I got my first job. In the retrospect, I know we married young, but we share the same values, and I had never loved anyone as much as I loved her. I have been fortunate enough to be blessed with financial success. So when my wife got pregnant with our son, six male, we decided that she would cut her workload. She is a substitute teacher for children with disabilities to five hours a week and focus on our kids and home. A year after the birth of our second son, three male, my wife started to feel isolated. So I hired a nanny and she spent more time with volunteer projects outside a home. Last year, my wife confessed to having an affair with an artist who had been hired to work on one of her volunteer projects, teaching art skills to disabled children. I have worked hard in forgiving her, but my family is very important to me, and I don't want my sons growing up in a broken home. My wife, for her part, is extremely remorseful and has done everything I ask for, including genetic tests to verify that my sons are mine and going back to work full-time. The problem is her father. Her father is a very staunch conservative and a huge fan of Donald Trump. I am also a lifelong Republican, 
but I do not like Donald Trump, and I do not think he models the values of a Republican president. While my wife's father believes that Trump will lead a return to a strong America, I am a Republican because I support small business and free enterprise and think his policies would be economically devastating. As someone involved in local politics, something I've really thrown myself into after my wife's affair. In a swing state, I've attracted some attention for my views. My father-in-law is incensed by this and has called me various insulting names, which I would shrug off, except that one is that I am a conservative. He doesn't know about his daughter's affair, but seems to take great pride in this insult. Things came to a hell last night at Sunday dinner with my wife and her parents. I tried to stay out of politics with my father-in-law, but he started in a rant about how Mexicans are coming into the U.S., sending their worst people. And when I mentioned that several local businessmen were Cuban immigrants who made good on the American dream, he started berating me for wanting Mexicans to come over and F my wife. What he doesn't know is that my wife's affair partner was Mexican. I left immediately to sit in a car while my wife said goodbye to her parents. She apologized on the way home, but I've been suing about this ever since.